Hey, what is up, internet? Hey, what is up, internet? First of all, a very happy holy. Welcome back to the channel. Now, अगर आप मेरा channel recently follow कर रहे हो आपको already पता होगा कि I got myself the Galaxy S22. And my first impressions are already out. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But I've been playing around with this guy for just over a week now. And in this video, I'll tell you 10 really cool nifty things or other settings that you should definitely try on your Galaxy S22. Now, a quick disclaimer: even though I said Galaxy S22, इन में से कुछ कुछ settings ना और भी Samsung devices में काम कर सकती है जो अगर करती है डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो और अगर आपको ये वीडियो थोड़ी सी भी पसंद आती है प्लीज हिट दैट लाइक बटन और राइट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द राधर सिंपल वन लॉन्ग स्क्रीन शॉट्स नाउ आई नो बहुत लोगों को ऑलरेडी ये पता होगा बट आई स्टिल थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल दे आर डोंट नो दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली टेक लॉन्ग स्क्रीन शॉट्स फ्रॉम योर गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी टू नाउ ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज जस्ट गो एंड टेक अ रेगुलर स्क्रीन शॉट लाइक यू डू प्रेसिंग द वॉल्यूम डाउन प्लस पावर बटन एंड वैन यू टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट यू विल सी दिस लिटिल एनिमेशन विद अ डाउनवर्ड एरो ऑन द बॉटम लेफ्ट कॉर्नर और टैप ऑन दैट एंड इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली स्क्रॉल डाउन एंड टेक अ लॉन्गर स्क्रीन शॉट और दिस कैन भी सुपर हैंडी अगर आपको एक व्हाट्सएप कॉन्वर्जेशन या कुछ भी अपने फ्रेंड के साथ शेयर करना है बिकॉज अदरवाइज हम एक एक करके स्क्रीन शॉट लेते हैं इससे हम एक ही स्क्रीन शॉट ले सकते हैं लंबे वाला एंड देन यू कैन शेयर इट विद आर फ्रेंड्स दिस नेक्स्ट वन इज ओनली लिमिटेड इफ योर फोन हैज फाइव जी नाउ वी डोंट रियली हैव फाइव जी इन इंडिया जस्ट शेयर सो इट डजेंट मेक सेंस फॉर आर फोन टू एक्चुअली लुक फॉर अ फाइव जी नेटवर्क सो ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज जस्ट गो टू सेटिंग्स देन कनेक्शंस देन मोबाइल नेटवर्क एंड चेंज योर नेटवर्क मोड टू एल टी स्लैश थ्री जी स्लैश टू जी ना इससे क्या होगा एक तो आपके मोबाइल का सिग्नल बेटर हो जाएगा एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज आपका फोन अब फाइव जी नेटवर्क नहीं ढूंढ रहा है इट विल ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव द बैटर लाइफ विच इज ऑलरेडी वेरी एवरेज ऑन द गैलेक्सी एस ट्वेंटी टू ना दिस नेक्स्ट वन मैंने एक्चुअली में एक्सीडेंटली डिस्कवर किया बिकॉज मैं कल अपने ट्रू वायरस ईयरफोन्स बेड के नीचे ढूंढ रहा था सो इफ यू एवर यूज दैट टॉर्च और फ्लैश लाइट ऑन योर फोन एंड वंडर्ड वाई इज इट नॉट स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ वेल यू कैन एक्चुअली increase the strength or brightness of it so all you have to do is go to your quick settings and where you see that torch icon instead of tapping it tap and hold it and then you will see the option to actually increase the brightness and strength i wonder why i didn't know this before because it kafi time se hai feature maybe i'm just slow Now this next one is specifically for the Galaxy S22 users or if you have another Galaxy device with One UI 4.1. Now Samsung recently introduced something called Smart Widgets. Now, आपको शायद ये already पता होगा अगर आपने recently कोई iPhone use किया है with iOS 15. So on your Galaxy S22, if you go to the widgets menu, you will now see an option to add Smart Widgets. So basically, you can add multiple widgets to that same section on your home screen. Now by default, you get three size options: two by two, four by one, and four by two. and once you have added it to the home screen you can also customize the look and feel of course and also choose the exact widgets you want to fit in there now this next one i think a lot of you guys will actually like now i am not one of those jo bahut zyada apni calls record karte ho but i know a lot of people out there can't actually live without this feature hence they always end up installing this third party apps from play store however what if i told you samsung already has a built in call recording functionality ever since one ui 3.0 yes so to enable that you go to the dialer then tap on that three dot menu on the top right corner then choose settings and then choose record calls now you can either choose auto record calls and that will record all the calls you get on your phone or when you are on the call just go to the same menu to start the call recording for that particular call now next is virtual ram now humne bahut bar aise suna hai ki samsung ke phones ek saal baad slow ho jate hain right aur usually bahut log aise bolte hain ki samsung ke phones don't feel as snappy as something like a pixel or a oneplus phone well most of the times it could be that your phone has low free ram but if you have a galaxy device specifically the s22 or any other device with one ui 4.0 or above samsung actually now gives you an option to use your internal storage as virtual ram so all you have to do is go to settings then scroll down to battery and device care then go to memory and then choose the amount of virtual ram you want to choose from there now on my galaxy s22 i can choose up to 8 gb of virtual ram from my internal storage now this will actually help your phone better manage the background apps or also agar aap bahut zyada game khelte ho isse aapki gaming performance bhi thodi improve ho sakti hai okay so this next one is really interesting and i'm pretty sure a lot of you out there don't know about this but samsung recently introduced that auto framing feature in their camera app right so i always 
just wondered if I can also use that feature on my video calls. Well, it turns out you can. So to enable that, go to settings, then scroll down to advanced features. Then scroll further down to video call effects. Now, is it what You can, of course, use that auto framing feature that will make sure that you are in the middle of the frame whenever you are on a video call on WhatsApp or Zoom. But you also get other features like you can blur your background or put a solid color or you can also put your own picture as your background if you are into that kind of stuff. Up next is the side key customization. Now, out of the box, a lot of the other Galaxy devices and even on my Samsung Galaxy S22, if you go and press and hold the power button, it triggers Bixby and we can all agree that we don't like Bixby and we don't want to use it. But thankfully, Samsung does give you an option to customize it. Now to do that, go to settings, then scroll down to again advanced features and then look for this option called side key customization and inside it you can change the long press to power menu now now if you go and press and hold the power button you will actually be able to power off your device now you can also customize the double press to any other app but i just kept it as the camera app because i use it a lot and it works really well for me now if you're someone who used that pop-up window or split screen functionality on your galaxy device a lot this next one's for you so if you happen to come across an app that does not support the pop-up window or split screen functionality you can actually just go to settings and then go to advanced features and then look for this option called labs. Now here you can actually force every app to work with the pop-up window and also a split screen functionality. Now I personally use this feature because Galaxy S22 ka already display is very small but I still know a lot of people actually do use this feature. Now this last one is my personal favorite and if you are this video, pe ho, you will really love this. Now ever since we have gotten rid of the bezels and also introduced that punch hole, I've actually missed that dedicated notification LED indicator a lot but thanks to our developers at XTA they have actually introduced an app that is light on your battery offers a ton of customization and actually can light up the area around that punch hole as a notification light now this app is called AOD notify and you can install it from Play Store and it works like a charm now there's also a pro version that will cost you rupees 99 but I think it's totally worth it because that will offer you some additional customization like you can customize the thickness of the light and then also the number of times it will appear after you receive a notification and some really other cool features as well so yes guys this was it so if you haven't already made up your mind on the galaxy s22 i have recently made my impressions video here you can check that out because i've covered a lot of things that can actually help you make that decision and share all your favorite settings or tips from your galaxy s22 or any other samsung device for that matter that you think everyone should know so yes guys thanks for watching keep asking and i will see you in the next one.